all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you and we are back again uh, we made the first video short so you guys can download it for those who have a small account or they have a bad internet uh, you know the Muslims keep talking about miracles in the Quran they remind me of somebody have a bankruptcy and when you have a bankruptcy every penny count and the Muslims out of pennies they could not find any reason to believe in their perverted prophet, criminal, child molester, liar, thief, according to the Quran and according to the Hadith. The madman who takes shower with dead dogs and women blood from period. The man who have millions of fleas live in his hair and his panty. A man he was found cheating on his wives. A man who kidnapped women and he raped them. A man who is the Muslims accused him according to the Quran that he stole an underwear a man who did marry a child who encouraged Muslims to have sex with the children a man who have no proof of anything and no witness of anything he is done when it's come to his God yet he claimed to be a prophet and the Muslims they follow him blindly but we have to be honest, not all the Muslims, they follow him blindly. The most of Muslims don't follow Muhammad because most of them, they knew Muhammad is a false man. But the issue is how you can leave Islam in a country where if you speak a word against the Prophet, you will be slaughtered immediately. You want to know how Muslims live in Pakistan? Give a freedom. You want to know how many Muslims live in Afghanistan? Give a freedom. Freedom will tell you how many Muslims between the Muslims. A Muslim, he will hold a book in his hand, and this book is just a flamed with fire. But he will think he is uh, there's nothing there. I mean, everything is fine. And this is my challenge to the Muslims who always speak of miracles in the Quran. We are life. We are life on air. Bring your miracle to me. It shows the best of the best you have. Choose the best of your science, and let us laugh together. Either Islam can stand the questions about science you claim or the science you claim is nothing but a fabrication which is exposing again Islam to be a false religion because when followers they fabricate things is not exist in their religion and yet they accuse the Christians and the Jews that they corrupt their book when the Muslims he changed the meaning of any verses in the Quran, tried to make it fit with science when the verse is speaking the opposite. Who is the corrupt? Who is the corrupt? You see, uh, we told people we will be back, but look like people, they thought we are not coming back. So we have only 54 people. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call? You know, actually, I noticed something. When I make two videos, people they watch only the last one. The one, the, the one before it, nobody watch it. And I noticed too that when I go live, they get a lot of viewers, but when we are not live, people don't watch. It looks like people they are looking for entertainment. They are not looking for knowledge. They are just looking for entertainment. Like a, it's a showtime. Uh, this guy is funny. Hey, let us laugh. Uh, Islam is a stupid. It's a comedy time. Uh, Muhammad is saying something stupid. Let us laugh. This is not why we are here. We are here to answer questions of people who want to learn. And we want people to help us to spread this knowledge. Download my videos, share them, cut them pieces, share them with everybody you can. You don't want to have your son one day coming back from school being deceived by a Muslim kid saying to him, Allah is God. Because remember in these days, not only Muslims are deceiving you, there is a Christians who claim to be Christians, they are working for the devil. I saw some Christians, they say that Allah is the true name of the true God. Nothing wrong with that. 
I saw Christians they say that Muhammad is a prophet how you can be Christian believe in the Bible and you believe in Muhammad is a prophet isn't it the Bible says whoever deny the father and the son is an antichrist what's wrong with those people because they are false so your child he will be deceived if you don't give him the awareness he need your child will go and will watch a video of James White Muhammad James White and James White will say to him whoever says Islam is Isis is a liar your son will believe this guy this guy is a minister in a church he have a PhD so the deception is surrounding you you might send your son to a church thinking that he will learn something good but he come back to your home and he learned the education of the devil so don't fool yourself and think oh, I am safe my family is safe there's no way my child will will fail into Jehovah's Witnesses no they he will why not why not if your child know nothing about the Bible except the name of it why not Why will not? Always, always, when you we know when when we avoid, uh, uh, let's say, some people they have a theory says, well, if I close my doors on me, I mean, I am fine. Who care what will happen outside? My the old days is over. You close the doors now the internet is inside your house that the, the internet and everything the stores are closing because nobody is going to store no more so we have we have a responsibility on our family you know i'm speaking to you about your family because i'm assuming many they don't care really about anything except their family but the for me all of you are my family and I care for you all this is why I'm here otherwise why want to be here I better go and do something else for for my life why I want to spend years and years of my life trying to show the people what and how dangerous this cult is because this cult destroyed already many countries you see the Muslim propaganda they say to you do you know what happened to Andalusia during the Islamic occupation my friend Andalusia is exist because Islam was bad not because Islam is good first of all why you are in Andalusia why you are there uh, we occupy it it's halal a Muslim halal to take over Spain but this is the land of the Spanish the Muslims they say to you do you know what the Spanish did they went all the way to Philippines but I never heard when we are in school in the Middle East ever everybody pre praise the heroes of Islam who occupy Spain who occupy Damascus Omar al Khattab the one who put the pact of Omar which is very humiliating for the Christians the Muslim they will say to you do you know what the what the white man did to the Indian American in America what he did tell me you tell me let us compare between an Indian American in America and a Middle Eastern Christian who owned the land the land of Egypt is belong to the Egyptian not the Arab who invade that land the land of Syria is the land of the Syrian who speak Aramaic not the one who speak Arabic the land of Iraq is the land of the Babylon and the land of the Assyrian. What happened to those people? They are not even treated as a citizen. Because the Quran says that you have to treat the Christians and the Jews with humiliation. A Native American Indian in America, he don't even pay tax. He lived like a king. He have his own territory. They have their own law. They are treated as a special citizen. What do you do for a Jew? You took his land. What do you do for a Christian? You took his land.
the Muslims they went to Spain they stole the wealth of the Spanish thousands of female Spanish became their slaves for sex and belly dancing and they have no work to do except building palaces living as life of kings because the Arab didn't work what is the life what is the business of the Arab during the glorious time of Islam what they do for a living somebody can tell me any Muslim can tell me nothing they don't do work they have tens of thousands of slaves you can go right now and search for a revolution is called the revolution of the Zinj in Iraq you, you, you watch Sinbad right Sinbad they say to you it's the city of Basra what's Sinbad what Basra do you know what Basra is Basra is a city of slaves it used to have the biggest population of a black African who kidnapped by the Arab the white Arab and they be brought to Basra do you know how far Basra is in from Iraq from from Africa hundreds of thousands okay what happened to them those people where we can find those black people in Iraq have you ever heard of a bringing millions of a black people as slaves and then they disappear what happened they killed them when the black people they make a revolution seeking for their freedom they kill them all there is zero black in Iraq unless you are a student coming to study in university from somewhere how many black people in Syria where is the black slaves until now there is slaves in Saudi Arabia owned literally owned just a few years ago the prince of Dubai and the prince of Qatar and the prince of Bahrain and the, prin the princes of, of Saudi Arabia they use to use the children's for the race of the camels go and read the news they buy children's from Thailand child he is five years old they risk his life they put him in the top of the camel for a race those are slaves have you ever heard of an employee he is five years old what he signed a contract with you how he how he came all the way from Thailand all the way to to Dubai he signed a contract with you right you give him a, a, a working visa do we have any Muslim would like to call us yes it was 800 years and the reason the Spanish did not speak Arabic for the Spanish they isolated themselves from the Muslims most of the Spanish they run for their life except the one who is captured the one who is captured mostly are women and the Arab they have sex with them and then they have a new breed which is a mix between the Spanish and the Arab there's a very famous scientist the Muslims are so proud proud of him but this guy he don't believe belong to Islam his name is Ibn Khaldun you know the Muslim they speak about scientist and historian and philosopher but philosophy according to Islam is haram and whoever do philosophy is a kafir should be killed this is why Ibn Khaldun was chased from place to place and put in jail from place to place Ibn Khaldun he said in his book the introduction of Ibn Khaldun that an Arab man he's talking about the Muslims his people an Arab man is willing to burn a library or to take down a palace 
so he might use the papers of the books and the wood of the palace to cook in it. He's speaking who? About who? About the Arab in Spain. Go and read his book. Actually, it's in the internet. You can read it in English. In the year 2018, if we go right now and check Mecca, where is the history the historian places of Mecca? What 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 those people they did it through civilization of just 1400 years ago? I mean, since now until now, what what they have? Nothing. What they have now is the money of the oil building, high building. But before in the time of Muhammad, Muhammad he used to live in a small tiny house for the Arab. They have no houses like you know, this uh it's a Bedouin life. This is why you see Muhammad in the Quran promising the Muslims that he will have a couch and he will have a pillow. A pillow? Yes, a pillow. And those Bedouin, they like a pillow. Are you sure? A real pillow? Yeah, a real pillow. I mean, a couch too, because the one who have couches, it was for them known, it is the Roman, it was uh, the Jews, uh, it was uh, uh, the, the, the Persian, uh, you know, the, the nice clothes, the nice life, but those Bedouin, they don't have any. So Muhammad is promising them in heaven that I will give you a couch for a very simple reason. For a couch is a big deal for the Arab. If we go in the Quran and do a little search, we will find some interesting stories. We switch to Arabic. Look at this verse as an example. Chapter 18, verse number 31. You can read any you can read any interpretation or the translation you want. And for those who they are the believers, huh, whom guardian of their property be beneath which is a river of law. And there where they will live in this heaven, we will decorate them with a bracelet of gold. I mean, have you ever heard of God promising you a priest of gold? Okay, I have a news for you. Brother and sisters, if you believe in me as a prophet, my God is going to provide you with a bracelet of gold for each one of you. What? This is God? Well, I can get one for $50. What what is that what does that mean exactly? I, I will get a bracelet of gold. The description of the promises is so stupid and so silly, but it fit with that time because Muhammad is speaking to those poor Bedouin who never wear gold before. Are you serious? I will have a bracelet of gold. There's a hadith about Muhammad. He got a ring after he killed the owner of it, as some story says. And Muhammad keep looking at the ring, keep looking at the ring. And Muhammad then he said, and he noticed people, they are looking at him like, you know, this guy, he looked like he never saw something like this before, you know. So Muhammad, he said, oh, you know what? I'm going to take it off because it's keeping me away from Allah because he felt he got exposed. So Muhammad is promising you that his God promising you a bracelet made from gold and not only that I have a news for you in the heaven all of you you will wear a uniform made from a green silk made in Iran Istabrak Istabrak is a kind of silk known made in Iran and the funny the Muslim they say to you the Quran is an Arabic book and the Quran confirmed that but Istabraq is not an Arabic word, is not an Aramaic, is not an Egyptian. It is a Persian word, which is about a name of a kind of a silk. It's called Istabraq. It's like promising you, you will wear Gucci. 
in our time imagine God he sent me a verse and I am a prophet and I say to you God today told me that all of you you are going to wear Gucci hey Tony Allah he just speak to me and he told me we will wear Gucci yes uh, brother you know can you make some uh, uh, pizza for us Gucci God the founder the builder the creator of this whole huge universe is promising me i will wear a green silk gucci abu hamza abu hamza how are you abu hamza here we go we have a muslim in the text he called me liar liar about what guys i'm lying lying about what it's in the front of us in the screen you see how funny the muslims liar Look, 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 he just said liar. About what? It's on the screen. I'm lying about what exactly? Tell me. Isn't this your Quran? Hello? Well, it's called the Stabrak. This is Stabrak, is the Gucci of that time. Ah, my Gucci is a lie. The Gucci of your prophet is not a lie, right? I got the point, guys. This guy, he have a point here. He's a smart Abdul. He's a prophet promising Gucci of his time, which is called Istabrak. It's not, it's not a lie. But if I promise Gucci at this time, I'm a liar. Why I'm a liar? I can go and order one. Why I'm a liar? I can make it happen. Your prophet could not. He promised you about something. In the afterlife, you will wear Gucci. I will shave my 20 foot beard if you will ever wear Gucci of Allah. So what kind what kind of God he promised me green silk and I will wear for eternity a green silk? I mean how boring. I can't imagine myself wearing a green clothes. I will look like those in the cartoon what they call them? Some four? What they call them guys? Let me let me I don't know what they call them in English. Hold on, let me see. In Arabic, they call them Sanafir. It's a it's a cartoon thing. Yeah, I'm talking about those. Sanafir, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> we will be wearing a green? All of us? For eternity? I can't change my shirt. I mean, can I get different color for one day? For eternity, I will wearing I will be wearing a bracelet in my hand made of gold. And I will be wearing a green shirt made of silk and made in Iran for eternity. And for eternity, I am going to be sitting reclining on a raised couch i mean why it's raised couch like is that will make you feel better how how raised it is like a five five floor this is god that promised me to sit in a couch if i turn my camera on i will show you show you right now my neighbor he throw his couch and nobody's taking it he have it there outside for three days he put a sign and it says for free you're god is promising us a couch and we will recline in it I'm glad he told us what we will do with it because uh, I do not know what to do with the couch I mean if not Allah told me how I will know huh and don't forget please in the heaven we will eat the fruits and those fruits we do not need to go to them they come to us what what yes brother you will be sitting in the couch and the fruit they go down to you and this is the lazy arab huh The Arab are very lazy people. There's a story about a bunch of Arab they want to commit suicide. 
They ask, what is the the, the 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 laziest way to commit suicide? They said you throw yourself in the ocean. So they ask a guy to carry them in their in his boat and take them in the middle of the ocean so they can you know commit suicide. They are in the middle of the ocean. The guy he said to them, Okay, we are in the middle of the ocean, jump. He said, Can't you make a hole in the boat? They don't, they don't want to jump. They are lazy. Even committing suicide, they don't want to do it. You know, can't you make a hole in the boat? This is the same story about the hole in the boat of the story of Al Khadr. You remember Al Khadr? The same chapter we are reading from, chapter 18. All right? Chapter 18. If you go to chapter 18 here. You will see a story of a guy, his name is Al Khudr. And Al Khudr simply, he, when he, in his trip, uh, you know, uh, uh, he found a bunch of guys who offer him a ride with them, their boat. So Al Khudr, he started making a hole in a boat. And Musa said to Al Khudr, what, what are you doing, man? Are you crazy? Al Khadr said to him, I told you, you cannot have patience with me, which means you are stupid. I am wise. I have the wisdom of Allah. It, to make it simple, after a while, when after after the boat, uh, after those guys, like he made a, a hole in the boat, a, 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 a pirate, or let us say a, a king who steal boats came by and uh, he looked at their boat and he found a hole in it, so he decided not to take it. Do you see the wisdom? You make a hole in the boat so the guy will not take it, but now you will be drawn. Huh? Any Muslim? Super intelligence religion. By the way, chapter 18 is one of the most funny chapters ever you can imagine. If you don't remember, hold on, let me let me see. Remember before we st we spoke about the fountain of youth. Do you remember the fountain of youth? Let me see if I can find it. <clears throat> Yeah, this is a religion believe in the fountain of youth. And the reason Al Khadr, Al Khadr is a person who attended Noah funeral. He attended Muhammad funeral. I mean, do you know how the, the distance between Noah and Muhammad? What what this guy is doing there? Simply because the Muslim believe that this guy he drank from the fountain of youth. I guess I found the hadith. Hold on. Where is the Muslims who want to call me and tell me about the science? Uh, hold on. <clears throat> Maybe not this one. Let us see. Uh, here we go. Read with me, guys. Let me make it more clear for you. How Allah will resurrect you?
simply Allah will pure on you the water of life do you see it am I making things up who is a Muslim when I say I'm making things up Allah will give us life again by purifying the water of life the, the from the fountain of youth I thought the fountain of youth is something exists in the parrot of the Caribbean only do you see it who is of you want to tell us what is the found the water of life What do you think? Abdullah is calling in 10 minutes. Hmm. I don't know. The last time I was debating the Muslim, this was like maybe 15 years ago, he said to me he want to go five minutes to the bathroom. Since then, he never come back. So 10 minute time for Muslim, it might be 10 centuries. He's a Muslim. You go in the Middle East, you see the garbage in the street, you call the government, you call the city, you say to them, the garbage is outside. They say, Inshallah, tomorrow we will take it. Inshallah. Tomorrow come, nothing happened. We call again. Inshallah, Inshallah, brother, Alhamdulillah, today is busy, Alhamdulillah, brother. Inshallah, tomorrow. The tomorrow is come. There's a hole in the street, was not fixed for more than 20 years. Because why? The only practice they have is inshallah. The Israeli they are they are doing irrigation by airplanes. They made the desert green again, and the Arab are living under inshallah. This is why we have no jobs. You know, if not the oil, guys, if not the oil, the whole Middle East is is, is dead. The only money they have is from the oil and the gas. Look, look what happened in Jordan. This Jordan have is not lucky. They have no oil, they have no gas. It's a dead country. And if not the money is coming as help and assistance from USA and Israel and the West, the country is dead. And you are telling me a Muslim is going to call me. He just said, "Inshallah." It's mean he. That's mean he will not call. <clears throat> Inshallah, tomorrow we will take Jerusalem back. And they said that sixty years ago, seventy years ago. Inshallah. Inshallah, this will remind me of, of Muhammad in the hadith. Muhammad in the hadith, he said, uh, Are you sincerely ready to go to heaven? The Muslim said, Yes, Prophet, yes. The Prophet said again, Are you sincerely ready to go to the heaven? He said, yes, Prophet, yes. He said, Are you sincerely ready? To go to heaven, the, the Muslim, they got so excited. Yes, yes, yes. Are you sincerely ready to go to heaven? The Muhammad keeps saying that. Are you sincere? And the Muslim just like get so excited, like, yes, 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 yes. And then Muhammad, after all of those, uh, yes, 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 he said to them, say, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. The guys, they thought the bus is coming to, to pick them up. When you hear, are you sincerely ready, the way he is speaking about it, you might think the bus is coming, Allah is sending the transportation. So are you sincerely ready? The Abdul gets so excited, 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 excited. And then after all, he said to them, say, inshallah.
if a Muslim he says to you I will pay you inshallah tomorrow it means he will never pay you the 10 minute is gone where is Abdul the one you told me inshallah will call are you sincerely ready to go to heaven Come on, Abdul, call me and get the water of life. The water of life is there, is ready for you. Don't you want to get to the water of life? This is the book of science. Hmm? Me Abdul. Any Muslim? Okay, who have a question for me? Anyone have a question? Especially Muslims, you you cannot call me. No, don't call. No problem. Can you ask me a question, Muslims? Well, Muhammad did, he did not receive revelation for many reasons. Uh, one of the reasons is not inshallah. One of them, Muhammad, he uh, he found that there is a dead dog under under his bed. Have you ever heard of God stopping to send, he stopped to send revelation to his prophet because there is a dead dog under the bed of the prophet? You know, that story about the dead dog, you know, like bring a lot of uh, questions. Uh, because uh, you know, because if Allah is not going to send the message to somebody because there's a dead dog somewhere, because guys, uh, I, I want you to see the image in different way. God, God of the heaven, and then we have a little tiny dog. And God is sending a message. Hey, hold on, I think I think you are not going to get it unless I show you something. Hold on. Hold on. Let's show you how silly this religion is. And how silly you will be to believe in it. Angels don't enter any house, have dogs in it anyway. How a little tiny animal can stop Allah from doing what he needs to do? Is there is a weakness in Allah? Any Muslim can explain to me? Let us say I am a prophet and I have those puppies in my house. And now Allah wants to send me a message. But Allah, he cannot get in because I have those puppies. I want an, a Muslim to explain to us, is that a weakness in Allah or this is a powerful ability? that God he refrained from entering the place 
because if he enter something wrong will happen to him what will happen to the angel if he enter in the house of Muhammad and there is a dog I want to know any Muslim can tell us what exactly would happen to the angel I will give you three options the puppies they will bite the angel hello am i speaking to christian prince yes so my name is Mohammed abdullah and i'm from india you might have seen me in the comment section no problem my friend welcome what do you want to say to us Muhammad? uh well i i don't want to discuss the current topic which is science basically hmm. i wanted to ask you a question why is jesus's sacrificial death necessary for salvation that's a good question my friend the answer is in the quran let me ask you okay hold on is it true that your god allah himself he sent a sacrifice a sacrifice did allah uh, himself no. sacrifice uh, are you asking me that was christ crucified or not no no i'm asking you do allah himself make sacrifice uh, yes he sacrificed why uh why uh, i'm not getting what you want me to okay answer. you know you are asking me about the sacrifice of jesus right yeah okay for us jesus is god for you allah is god correct mm. okay so in order to understand what's happening let us compare between what your god did and what my god did what jesus did he did not jump and die he did not commit suicide simply he knew they will kill him and he is not afraid of death for he is going to overcome but he don't want it it's not his uh, it's not, he's not like if somebody go and jump from the top of the mountain obviously he want to die right so it's mm -hmm. not the messiah working for the death but he knew the future he knew what they would do and he will not run away from it so mm -hmm. the messiah he by by doing this act is a sacrifice a hero when a hero let us say you are an, a person in the army and according to the Quran, uh, Isa is supposed to Jesus. Isa, the Muslim, he asked his followers to sacrifice themselves so he can run away. So he asked one of his apostles, who of you want to take my look so I can run away? Which means the other one is sacrificing too, because he's sacrificing himself so Jesus can be saved. So now here, mm -hmm. what we find in Islam, that the Muslim believe in sacrificing, but it's not legitimate because that will make Isa a coward man. He is asking, you see, if you are a hero, the hero is the one who sacrificed himself to others to save them, not the one who asked others to die for him so he can run away. Do you agree? But was it the only way that God could forgive us? No, my friend, this is not about I the mean, only way. This is not about no, this is not about the only way. Hold on. The forgiveness, you see, I, I don't blame you for by the way, for understanding wrongly about Christianity. Christianity is not only Jesus crucifying himself. Christianity is Jesus himself, God in the flesh, coming to us and turn us to believe in him so we'll be saved. So we will be saved if we believe in him and whatever he do. Crucifixion is one of many things he did. So it's not just by the cross. It is about believing in Jesus. Jesus, he said to the guy who was next to him in the cross, I promised you now you will go in heaven. But Jesus is not crucified yet. But yet the guy is saved. Jesus, he forgives sin. For many before he was crucified, so Jesus he promised, hold on, Jesus he promised sins. many people. If, if Jesus has already paid for your sins, so what stops you from committing more sins? My Why friend, you, my yes. friend, my friend, this is in the Quran, not in my in my book. In my book, Jesus said, When we say he paid for my sin, it doesn't mean I have a sin free. This is in the Quran. You will not find a verse in the in the Bible says that Jesus paid for my sin, so I will go and I am free to do sin. That's not true. Jesus said, but not, listen, uh, listen, 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 let me answer you, Jesus my friend. Sin, so why let, you just let, me, let me answer you, my friend. Let me answer you. Jesus mm -hmm. said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will, in, will, will enter the, the, the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So you say to him, for Lord, Lord, you believe in him, you worship him, still you are not saved unless you do his will. But the promise of a future sin to be forgiven is in the Quran. If you go in the Quran, and I hope you have the Quran with you, 
Chapter 48, verse number uh, 2. No, but the, why, why, do you, why do you go to the Quran? Why don't you answer me directly? I'm answering you, my friend. I'm answering you. I just told you that we don't have such a thing. We don't have such a thing. It says that your sin is forgiven and Jesus paid for your sin so you can sin as much you want. This is a lie. It's not so exist. And ho hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. When you say something, can you, can, you, can you prove it? Can you, you prove what you just said that we have a free, we have a license to sin? Can you prove that this is what the Christians uh, no, believe or uh, this is your assumption? Actually, I, you see, listen to me your actual claim is that jesus prayed for your sins no, no. my friend my friend my friend i am not an actual claim i did not say i did not say the word this is you you what you said that what i say no, what i say what i said no what i said i don't don't tell me don't tell me what people says i don't care what people says jesus paid for the sin of all mankind that does not mean the mankind they have a free license to sin not everyone will say to me lord lord will enter the kingdom of my father which mean you have to do and he said the, but the one who do his will which mean you have to follow him you have to do his command you have to obey him and you have to be decent person as a christian as a christ he was otherwise you don't belong to him jesus said the tree who don't give a fruit will be cut off and throw in the hell fire so it's not enough to be a tree to claim to be a christian and one day i will give a fruit it doesn't happen this way so don't make false interpretation of you what you heard from some christian this is not what they meant what they meant is that Jesus have no guilt. He commit no sin. He commit no crime. It was our crime. Because of our crimes, he came to save us. Why we are on earth? Because we commit sin. Why Jesus came? Because we commit sin. What the purpose of God sending prophets? Oh, wait, because wait, we commit let, let sin. Hold on. So why your God, Allah, he sent Muhammad? Because you commit sin and you need to be saved. Is that correct? I cannot tell you exactly, but do you agree or point. not? No, don't tell me exactly. Obviously, you do not know your religion. Why Allah He sent Muhammad? Is that because you are a good person or you need to be saved? Because the previous scriptures were meant only for certain group of people for a certain what does have to do with my question? I'm asking you what I'm asking you why Muhammad he sent was sent by Allah. What the purpose? To do what exactly? I mean, you could ask this question to any. I'm uh, asking any. you, aren't you a man? Are you a kid? I'm asking you. you are, we are talking as adults. I'm asking you why Allah He sent Muhammad. What is the purpose of Muhammad to do in earth? To guide the mankind. To what does that mean? Quran? What does that mean? To save them? Uh, yes. Okay, thank you very much. So now, when you say Muhammad came in to save us, that means he came because of your sin, not because you are a good person. So for us as a Christians, we believe that Jesus came to save us from our sin. That's mean we are we need we need somebody to help us to be saved. So how come you believe Muhammad came to save you and we cannot believe that Jesus came to save us? So he paid for our sin, which means no, that he was a crucified. Listen, he was a crucified no, for no sin. Saying. He did. Did Jesus do anything wrong to be crucified? Can you tell answer that? No, he did not. Do okay, so that's what this is what we meant. That he paid for our sin, for he paid for no crime. You, when somebody get killed for a crime he did, he paid for his sin. But if we mm. are the sinners and we are the reason for this person to come to save us, and then he got killed, that's mean he paid for our sin. But doesn't mean that this is a license for sin. However, read with me okay. in the Quran. Hold on, hold on. You are the one who opened the topic. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, Abdul. You see, you brought you brought a disaster. You brought a disaster for your religion. What kind of religion? A promising a, a person. He's a Muslim to go to heaven. And his sin is forgiven in the past and the future. Can you tell me? Do you believe? Could you please repeat the question? Do you believe that it's right to promise somebody that his sin will be forgiven, even the one who do in the future? Uh, I'm not getting what you mean by that. Um, let me repeat the question. Now you want to you want to play slow. Is it all right if I am God, and you are a human, and I say to you? It's okay to sin, even the future sin is going to be forgiven. Is that all right? You see, God knows more than us. This is not about knowing. I'm saying, hold, hold on, hold on. Don't play games. I'm saying to you, listen carefully for the question. Is it I'm all right? Saying, is it saying. is it all right that I am God and I say to you, your sin in the past and the sin you will do in the future is forgiven? 
yes it's, it will be justified because you are what? God. you know what is a second ago a second you know ago right. a second you know hold on hold on hold on hold on why so it justified why it justified why it's justified hold on hold on hold on creation no no explain so you know what is good so no 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 you see this is not this is not about he knows what he knows this is about listen abdul Hassan. listen don't go speak over me saying nothing this is not my question my question is if I am forgiven for the sin I will do in no, the past, God, hold on, no, hold, God, hold on, listen to the question know, first before you answer. Listen to the question. You don't understand my question yet. This is what you do, Muslims. You answer the question before you get the answer. Listen, why I will forgive somebody for a sin he will do? Is that ethical? Is that is it that is not be given? Is that ethical? It might not be given some certain circumstances, but if God tells that He will forgive. Then he knows better than us. This so is not about knowing. I'm not asking you if he knows better than you or not. This is not the question. This is not the question. You are the one who's saying, like, you, you must then believe that everyone should pay for his sin. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Why Muhammad he will not be paid for any sin and Allah forgave him for the past and the coming sin? Why he gave him a license for sin? Uh, how, 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 do you, how do you prove that? How I prove that? What do you mean? I can't prove it? You must not say it says that he said Muhammad he his sin in the future sin is forgiven. They say that I saw that in the newspaper. Uh, so I don't I, I don't I don't answer for a newspaper article. Okay, Should the I newspaper I'm talking about, my friend. The newspaper I'm talking about is the Quran. This is Quran, chapter 48, verse number two. So what do you say now? What do you say now? Are you going to make fun of this newspaper or you are going to respect it now? Uh, you see, I'm not knowledgeable enough. Uh, uh, um, 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 a second ago, you are knowledgeable about your religion. Now you do not know. A second ago, you are making fun of a newspaper. Now you have to respect the newspaper. But yet it's a newspaper. This is the Quran giving us news. Saying that Muhammad he have a license to do sin in the past and sin in the future. What is the ethic of God? If I encourage a human being to do sin, I don't say to them, I will not forgive your sin unless you ask for repentance. This guy is saying to him, Your sin is forgiven. The one in the past and the one to come. What kind of religion this religion is? But the Prophet asked for forgiveness. My friend, he my friend, my friend, my friend, you, you he asked for forgiveness for the sin he would do in the future. Uh, I don't know, but you you Muslims in Islam, you you ask for forgiveness for a for sin you did not do yet. This is what Islam teaching you that in Islam you ask for forgiveness for a sin you did not do. Like you you say Allah forgive me for raping a woman, but you did not rape a woman. Does that mean you are planning to rape her? No. But so how you are? So what do you mean Allah for the is speaking about the past and the sin to come? So it is not the Christians who believe in a free license of sin. It's you Muslims. Okay, okay. No, no. I, I want to move from this topic, but uh, what's wrong with this to topic? You don't like it? What What's wrong? You don't like the newspaper topic? No, I, I was I was making another point, and you twisted the. No, this is idea. the topic. This is the topic you talk about about sacrificing. And let us go. Hold on. We we are not we are not done. Wait, wait, I want to ask you. No, 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 no. You are the one who opened the topic of sacrifice. Hold on. Why Allah? Why Allah? When you say sacrifice, why Allah? He gave a sacrifice. Do you know? What kind of sacrifice are you talking about? I don't know. In the newspaper, it says that Allah, he gave a sacrifice. No, why are you referring to the Quran as newspaper? Because it's a newspaper for me. I don't respect it. It's a newspaper. And what kind of a book? It says that there is a, uh, uh, you know, there is a bird who speak to the prophet and uh, and uh, the prophet, he uh, or, a, or an ant speak to the ants. I mean, this is a, it's a newspaper for kids. Even kids will not take it. Now answer. You see, Allah, Allah gave, Allah gave. Allah gave don't change topic. Then Hold on. Why Allah, he gave sacrifice to who? Allah gave sacrifice to who? Uh, what sacrifice are you talking about? In the newspaper, it says there is a sacrifice. Aren't you knowledgeable about your religion? I'm not getting about the what sacrifice are you Well, in to? the Quran, in the newspaper in front of me, it says in chapter 37, verse number 107, it says that Allah, he gave a great sacrifice. Allah sacrificed to in Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? No, I don't. I'm an Indian. So I why you are Arabic, asking me to speak in speak. Arabic if you don't speak Arabic? Huh? Why you are asking me to speak Arabic if you don't speak Arabic? 
I'm not asking you to speak so, Arabic. I don't know what the, so what you are saying. I don't know what you said Arabic. No, I said that I can't. Re I can read Arabic, but I cannot understand. You know, Eesh, I can that's amazing. He can read words. Arabic, guys. Take a note, please. He can read Arabic, but he did not understand Arabic. So you not not know Arabic. You are reading yeah. letters. In Most listen, Indians my friend. You, you know, listen, 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 listen. Listen. What does this have to do with my question? If you know Arabic, you do not know Arabic. I'm not asking you about Arabic, my friend. This is not Arabic class. I'm asking you. Allah gave sacrifice. What is the point? Could you please elaborate what sacrifice are you talking about? Well, the Quran says Allah, he gave, he gave a great sacrifice, a mighty sacrifice. Uh, what do you say? Allah gave sacrifice to who? Allah gave sacrifice to who? Sacrifice to whom? Yeah. Allah sacrifice to Allah. When I give sacrifice, no, I give. Sacrifice. Way, I can object that God sacrificed to him, like you said. Just God is sacrificed to God. Sin. So you have no problem if God sacrificed to God. Mm, okay. No, no. I'm say, asking you. Don't think you okay. Is that yes or no? You don't have a problem that God sacrificed to God. Uh. uh, uh actually uh, -uh. Uh, uh squeeze it what is it coming or not are you okay with god sacrificing to god either you say yes i am okay with it or you say i am not okay with it if i say i'm okay then you're going to propose your propaganda don't tell me what i, I am proposing I... you are afraid to answer anyway you are scared like hell to answer me because you know whatever you say you are going to get busted so tell me what you believe just be honest don't worry about what you will say. Islam is Islam. You know, you cannot change it. So, are you okay with you God sacrificing to... From a conventional per perspective, I would not agree to it. But since it's in the Quran, so I have to agree ah, with it. Ah, anyway. you have a point there. Guys, he is not agreeing with it. But because since it is in the Quran, I have to let it go. <laughs> That's why I told you it's a newspaper. Here we go. You just convinced me that you are a false Muslim for you are a person who don't agree with it but because it's in the Quran you have to say to me I agree with it so in your in your heart in your mind this is stupid it's what you are saying to me and you cannot believe that this but is happening. not exactly not exactly like what does that mean this is a crazy not stupid you, you see from a conventional perspective from what I've been um, indoctrinated hmm. uh, it, it won't sound very logical to me but if it's in the Quran then I have to agree with it anyway so are you telling me you are a guy who, who goes and follow logic uh, now you're going to uh, post some description why you are Quran. asking me what I'm going to I mean you are the one who mentioned the word logic so let us talk about logic do you are you a person who believe in logic I, I did not say the word logic I was talking about the conventional perspective yes you said it's me till not logical did you are the one who said that when you say logical it's mean you believe in logic so do you believe in logic or you don't believe in logic why do you ask gotcha questions like my friend you are the one who mentioned the word why you say to me the word if you don't mean it when you speak to Christian Prince every word will use you will, will be used against you in the court of law so be careful you mentioned logic do you believe in logic or you don't believe in logic I do believe in logic okay is it logical or is, it, is it logical that Jesus have no father and his mother she gave birth to him as a virgin Uh, if are you, are you asking from me in uh, in regards to as to what what is written in the Quran? Or yes, yes, in the Quran. In the Quran, it says Jesus have no father and Mary. She was a virgin. She gave birth to him. What is the logic of that? Do you have an explanation? No, but how can I mean? Uh, I don't have an explanation for this. If God did that, so why would I object to that? If my friend, uh, you are the one who mentioned logic. So who is talking object about objecting? That? I'm not asking you to object. I'm not asking you to object. Please, please don't object. No, I don't have any problem. So this is I'm not. I'm not asking you if you have a problem. I'm asking you. Do you believe in what is the logic? I'm not asking you if you have a problem. You don't have a problem. Later we can go to the problems. It's coming. Yes, I do believe in logic. But what is the logic of that then? Uh, the virgin birth of Jesus mm -hmm. why Allah he made this happen I mean obviously uh, when God he made something happen it should be for a reason right don't you agree 
There must be a reason. Yes. So what the reason? So that does not mean uh, that humans can discern everything what God said. Uh, uh, Abdul, this is not my question. I'm asking you, what is the reason for your God to make such a miracle happen? Because this is an amazing miracle. But what's the point of it? My mom, so my mom, let me tell you about my mom. My mom, my friend, my friend, my mom, my mom. She have 20 kids and she claimed that mm -hmm. she delivered them all of us and she was a virgin. What do you think about that? Is that true? Mm -hmm. Uh, it won't be but if huh so there's no and there is no way to prove it to be wrong or right right so what what is the logic of something nobody can prove because women she can say whatever she wants she can say I delivered this boy and I was a virgin nobody so can are witness you, are you objecting to Mary no I am a Christian huh? I believe that Mary she was a virgin I'm asking you in Christianity there so is a reason no listen it, listen I listen I am asking you what is the reason for this miracle to happen in Christianity we know why it's happened you Muslims, do you know why this is happening? What is the purpose of this miracle? Or just Muhammad, he copy paste, he copy from the Christian that Mary she was a virgin, but he have no idea why he put it in his Quran. So you Muslims, do you know why Mary she was a virgin, or you do not know? Why should there be a reason for that? I mean, if God did that, so why would you? No, there is a reason because out of all mankind, there is nobody is born of a woman except Jesus. So there is a reason. It cannot be just happen and it's an accident. Is Jesus is an is is Mary is Mary an is Mary an alien or she is a human being like the rest? So I can also ask you the same question: Is Mary? Don't you can ask me. You can ask me. No, I I can answer you. No problem. But answer me first, and I will answer you. For me, it happened as a miracle. For Jesus is not of this earth. Jesus said, "My kingdom is not in this earth. It's above." For he is coming from above. He said before Abraham, I am. So he is not of the mankind. He is born in the flesh, but he is not of the flesh. So now we know why. For Jesus have no father, for he is the word of God who is born of a woman. Now we know why. Now, why in Islam Jesus have no father? Explain to us. If he were born of a fa father, uh wouldn't he be the son of God then if he were born of a father? Thank you very much. So guys, did you hear what he said? He just he just answered and get Muhammad busted. He said if, if if Jesus is born of a father, he cannot be the son of God. But now because he have no father, so who is his father is the one who made his mother brethren. Who is the one who made the mother brethren according to Islam is Allah. So based in your logic now, Allah is the father of Isa. No, I'm not saying that. You just said that. You said How if you have a father, that? you just said that. You, you just that? said, you just said, if Jesus that. have a father like everybody, then he, he cannot be the son of God. Thank you very much for saying that. So now you give us no, a logical I'm, reason I'm, I'm, I'm why this, Jesus you, have no. This. So then let us go consider zero. This. Let you us go to zero. Listen, you don't listen. To listen, me. listen. Let's go to zero. Why Jesus have no father? I don't have answer. Why you don't have answer? What's wrong with you, Muslims? You have a newspaper. This is this why it says it's a newspaper. Why Trump is meeting Kim Jong Guang Guang? We do not know. Why Trump? He said we don't. Know. It's a newspaper. We do not know. We don't. We are not inside the White House. So all what you are saying to me, I believe in a newspaper, but I, I believe that everything written there is true, but I do not know why. It's not like that. Just because I don't know, that doesn't. So you just, okay, okay, you be, but you believe in something you do not know why, why. So this is what it. This is how it is. You believe in something, but you do not know why. Why Jesus have no father? But a second ago, you you were knowledgeable. What happened? A second ago, you told me if Jesus have a father, he cannot be the son of God. Then thank you very much. So you gave me the answer. I did not say that. You, you, said, that, really, you said, that. said that. You said that. You said you said that. All I was saying. All I was. Saying I swear by the newspaper. Jesus you said that. Of a father. Why couldn't he be the son of God then? If so, he was born of a say father? again, say again, what? If Jesus was born of a father hmm. by natural birth, why couldn't he be the son of God then? Because then he would be a son of a man, normal man like everybody. Who is the father of uh, Jesus now? According faith, to Islam, according to Islam, who is the father of Jesus? Uh, there's no father of Jesus. Well, it is, is that possible that a person is born of a woman, but he have no father? So is that possible in Christianity? Yes, it's possible. It happened to Jesus, for he is the Son of God. In Islam, why? It's so what, can, in Islam, what is the reason? Why? So why Jesus? Jesus why uh, Jesus? Jesus why Jesus have no father? I want to know what is the purpose of that miracle. 
uh, we believe in miracles that does not mean every miracle but a miracle a miracle nobody can witness for is not a miracle my friend unless there is a purpose of it because nobody can witness what happened in the bedroom with Mary <clears throat> except Mary so how how and why miracle happened so God can show his power like Jesus he made the blind see everybody saw that it was not a secret Jesus make the man who cannot walk walk so people will see and they will believe Jesus he walk in the water Jesus he feed the thousand of people Jesus he healed the, the leper Jesus he resurrect people from death but all of this is done in public not in secret for people to see what God can do so now what happened to Mary is something so private nobody can see and there's no proof of it to be true or not so what the purpose of this miracle miracle is to show the glory and the power of God what God can do yes, okay so, so what is the, the purpose of this miracle of God if she was born of a, uh, what is the purpose if nobody can see virgin? it if nobody can see it what is the purpose uh, what do you mean nobody can see it Everybody nobody can see it who was who was who was the witness who is the witness that Mary she was a virgin Miracles need witnesses. I, I, could, I, could ask the, I could ask you the same question in terms of Christian. I told you why. I told you. I told you. For us, we have a reason. For you, you cannot explain. If it's just a miracle, but, but then you have to explain why the miracle happened. For me, I told you why. For Jesus is not from this no, earth. He is the word of God. He is the word of God who sent down to this earth and he took the flesh. He is the son of no man. And this is why he have no father of the earth. So now we are asking you. The same story exists in your Quran, but it's cut off of the Bible without explanation. And you Muslims believe in it blindly without asking yourself, okay, why Muhammad don't have a father like Jesus? How come? Uh, he was a... Uh, uh, I don't know how, how to answer okay, that. Why, okay, forget about Muhammad. Why Musa don't have a father? I mean, every prophet had a father. Every prophet have a pro father. Every prophet have a father except Jesus. Why? I don't have answer to that. Okay, let me ask you then. Muhammad, he was born four years after his father's death. How do you explain well, that? Uh, Muhammad was born what? He was born four years after his father's death. From where do you get that? I've never heard of it. Mm, from the newspaper. Oh, come on. What? Okay, if I prove it to you, what you will do? Do you promise me to leave Islam? Uh, no, I need to search it from myself. Ah, you need to search it. it from your research. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, let me ask you. Uh, according, that, according. Sorry, that's sorry, but coming on to my fun, first question, hmm. uh, uh, I um, like you said, um, uh, you don't have a license if uh, for committing uh, whatever sins you want. Hmm. It uh, so basically you're saying that Jesus paid for sins, but conditions apply. You only go to heaven if you follow certain commandments. My friend, you don't. Uh, my friend, my friend. To make it simple for you. Jesus, uh, one, one, one more thing. Jesus so, save, uh, Jesus so save, so Je hold on, Jesus hold on. Jesus save, no hypocrites. Jesus save, no hypocrites. Islam claim that everybody will be saved, including the hypocrites. Islam is from the devil. It no, is Islam the, who promise you. The, it is Islam. Strike. Let me ask you: Is it is it Allah who said? Allah Prophet who said? That Allah will place all the sin of the Christians. Oh, sorry, all the sin of the Muslims. Sorry, uh, all the sin of the Muslims. Hadith, right? Hold on, hold on. Sunnah hadith. hadith. You are not a Sunni. You are Shia. No, I'm a Sunni. You are a Sunni. Okay. Is it true that your prophet said all the sin of the right. Muslims will be placed on the Christians? You see, I have heard Shabir Ali's answer to this. He says that uh, so if if a hadith does not agree with the Quran, then we reject that. And since this hadith okay. does not agree with the Quran, okay. Shabir Ali is a, Sh Shabir Ali, my friend, is a potato, and he ran away from debating me. Shabir Ali is a potato, and he he ran away from debating me. Now show me where it does not agree with the Quran. Uh, I mean, how how can you say that? 
Uh, he's a potato. He ran away from me. He ran away. He's a potato. Now answer me. I don't care who is he. He said to you, it does not agree with the Quran. Which verse does not agree with this? Did he say, did he mention to you? No, but the basic theology rim has to. No, 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 no. It's listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Shabir Ali. He said to you, if a, if a hadith does not agree with the Quran, he didn't say to me. I've heard him saying. Ah, heard him. Okay, he heard him. So he, okay. So did he say to you which verse in the Quran contradicting this hadith? No. So I mean. So how so how you are convinced now that Shabir Ali is saying the truth? Why he did not give you the hadith which is contradicting the the, the verse? Which verse? Same time, my friend, Shabir Ali is an official idiot because there's tons of hadith in the Quran. Quran is a hadith too, and tons of hadith in the hadith contradict the Quran, but the Muslims they follow the hadith. As an example, the Quran say you do muta. Hadith says you don't do muta. Which one you do? We don't practice it. It was why uh, I guess uh, abrogated by Umar. Ah, abrogated by Omar, guys. Do you see it? The Prophet Omar, peace upon him, he is the one who abrogated. <laughs> so Quran says, you just said to me that Shabir Ali told you, if a hadith contradicts the Quran, we don't take the hadith. So how Shabir Ali yes. is following the hadith of Omar? Following the Prophet Omar? Not the Quran. Uh, you see how they fool you, my friend? This Shabir Ali is a liar. He grow his beard because he have nothing behind it. The beard they grow for a reason. Too much fertilizer. The fertilizer mm -hmm. the Muslim they add to their beard will, is, is not a knowledge. It's a poo poo. So now did you ask Shabir Ali? Okay, if the Hadith contradict the Quran, brother. So how come we follow the Hadith most more than the Quran? Where in the Quran says pray five times? It is in the Hadith. The Quran say three times. Where in? Uh, 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 what? Uh, the the, um, the Quran orders Muslims to follow the Sunnah, and we find the Sunnah in the Hadith. My so friend, a second ago you told me. A second ago you told me. Listen, Abdul Muhammad. Muhammad, you told me. Shabir Ali said, if a Hadith contradicts the Quran, we don't yes. accept it. Okay. So how come you accept the Hadith of the Muta, which is made by Omar, as you said? Against the Quran, who is your God, Omar or, or or Allah? Allah said you do muta. Okay, so Allah said do muta. Omar said don't do muta. I, I I don't I didn't know the context in which it was said, so I cannot answer to that. Ah, question. but there's hundreds of things you don't follow in the Quran. You follow in the Hadith. So Shabir Ali obviously is lying to you about what he said about if the Hadith contradict the Quran. That's a garbage. So is there a verse that supports your arguments that uh, Muslim sins will be put on to Christians and they'll be forgiven no matter how much they commit sin? Is there a Quran verse supporting your argument? Well, my friend, the Quran, um, you mean which which newspaper you are talking about? The, the Quran number one or Quran number two? What do you mean Quran number one, two? Well, the Quran number, uh, had, well, uh, newspaper number one is the Quran, newspaper number two, is the hadith but both of them they are quran no i'm talking about the quran quran is a hadith because the quran is a hadith too don't you know that isn't it the quran is a hadith uh, so, uh, no there's a distinction hadiths are the son of the prophet are so, you sure and quran is are you sure this this is not what the what? newspaper says the newspaper Why in front of me my I friend say? my friend the newspaper in the front of me it says that the quran is a hadith Wait a second, let me see. Yeah. You said you, you said you speak Arabic, right? You you know how to read Arabic. No, no, I I don't I don't speak Arabic, mm -hmm. but I can read. Okay. Here in front of us, <clears throat> Allah He keep using the word hadith, 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 etc. And then Allah He says that the best of the hadith is is the Quran. All those hadith is in front of you. Those all the Quran speak. I don't know if you can see my screen. Allah nazzala ahsan al hadith kitaban. So what is the Quran? Is a hadith. What does the hadith? What does the word hadith means in Arabic? Allah A second ago you told me hadith, hadith is not a Quran. Kitaban. So now the Quran is a hadith. So which one is a hadith? The Quran or the hadith is a hadith. Obviously both of them are hadith. What does the word hadith means? Tell speeches. Me speeches. Speeches. Yeah. 
It's a speech. Uh, this is an this is additional proof. This is additional proof that this is cannot be this is cannot be God because this is a speeches of people, people making hadith. God don't make hadith. Hadith is people speaking. How Allah He says the Quran is a hadith. It's the speech of Allah because it's because it's the speech of Allah. But Allah never spoke. Can you show me where in any any page in the newspaper you believe in that Allah He spoke to Muhammad? But He spoke to Moses. And this is and different. This is that. this is different. Uh, this is the new the, Muhammad in his newspaper. He's copying from different book. Okay, but Muhammad He never heard his voice. Okay, let me ask you then. Why Allah spoke to Adam, Allah spoke to Isa, Allah spoke to Moses, Allah spoke to Abraham, Allah even spoke to Alexander the Great. Why he don't want to speak to Muhammad? Do you know, do you know why? Uh, every single name, every single name in the Quran of those who you, cl you call them prophets, every single names of those who you call them prophet, Allah spoke to them. Except Muhammad. Why? Because Archangel Gabriel would bring revelations from Allah to him. Oh, hold on. So why? Uh, so is is Jibreel like someone he is newly newly hired? So why he did not, no. why he did not send Jibreel to Moses or to Isa? Why Allah he speak to Isa? Where is Jibreel at that time? He was vacation the Caribbean islands. No, but what's the problem in accepting that if he even if he did not speak to him directly, what's the problem in accepting no, that? I see we are we are we are looking for the unique information. Muhammad is unique. He have no miracles, his God never spoke to him, he never saw his God, he never heard his God. He he got a guy, you come to him as a man, he squeezed him three times, and no mayonnaise come out, and yet Muhammad claimed that he is a Jibreel. Do you have a proof that this is an angel? He saw a man. So you are referring to the circular reasoning. I'm asking you if there is any proof that this Jibreel is exist and he really spoke to Muhammad. He's also mentioned in the Bible. My friend, what Bible? There's no Jibreel in the Bible. No, not even a single verse Gabriel. in the Bible. No, Gabriel is different from Jibreel. Archangel different name. Gabriel. You see, your prophet cannot even pronounce names. Are you are you saying that to me? Because either Muhammad, you do not know how to say the names. If this is the same person, it's mean your prophet he cannot quote the name correctly. Because Jibreel is not Gabriel. So who is he? Are you no, you, you tell me. Muhammad, he, a guy came to him and he started squeezing him three times and he said to him, Read, what is the proof that this guy is an angel? The Quran confirms that. Where? Where? Show me the story of the, of the cave of Jibreel in the Quran. If okay, you show me, uh, listen, if you show me this uh, story, I'm going to shave my beard, I promise you. <laughs> what? So there's no it proof. It might not, my friend. There is, there is, there is, there is something. It's called. It's in Sahil Bukhari six six two eight. I guess six six, six, six eight six, two or six six two eight. If, I don't. If, I, if, if 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 man, this guy he remember the hadith number. I'm really shocked. You are so good in knowledge. Um, you know, let me call a friend because obviously I cannot debate you after after you gave me the number fast. What's Sahih al Bukhari? Who care about it? Where we know where it is, my friend. I'm asking you. What is the proof that Jibreel is exist in Islam? Muhammad he said that a guy his name is Jibreel according to Waraq ibn Nufal he come to him and he look like his boyfriend his name is Dahyal Kalbi. So are you saying that Jibreel is not mentioned in the Quran? No, it's mentioned in the Quran. Like Muhammad he have a fight so, with his wife. Hold on, hold on. As long as you're saying that, let me show you. As an example, is is Jibreel he work with the police station. If a man and his what wife, they, if a man and he and his wife they fought, should we call Jibreel? What do you think? If I have a wife or wives, and uh, I have a fight with my wives, who is the one in the cha in charge? Is it the police or Jibreel, who I will call him to come and help me? According to the Quran. Muhammad, he have a fight with his wives. If you go to chapter 66, verse number 4, you will see that Muhammad having a fight with his wives. And then Muhammad, he said, well, you know what? If you don't, if you don't repent, you two of you and the two women, they have uh, other women, they are like uh, the, the wives of the prophet became two parties. One is Democrat and one is Republican. 
so they divided the women and both of them now they are striking against the prophet so the prophet he said because he gave up and he's afraid they will kill him look what happened he said and this is in the newspaper not from me from the Quran as you see chapter 66 verse number four if you ye turn in repentance to him your heart are indeed so inclined but if you back each other back up each other against him which means Muhammad truly truly Allah is his protector and Jibreel what do you say about that why Muhammad he needs Jibreel an angel of God to protect protect him from two women they are five foot tall You're bringing me facts that I don't have answer to. I'm asking no. you now. I'm asking you. Is he? Is he? A, is he an angel or he is just a guy? He work in the maybe fire uh, fighter station, police station. A guy having a fight no, with his two wives. Angel. Listen, a guy he's having fight with his two wives. What is the business of Allah and Jibril and Mikael and the angels and the believers. Muhammad is involved in 1.4 billion Muslims. It might be to set an example for future. What example? Uh, if I have a fight with my wife, I will say to her, if you don't, if you back up each other, Jibril is my is going to protect me. What do Jibril have to do with this? Have you ever seen you, you, you with my respect to your mother and your father? So that have you ever heard your father saying to your mother, if you Go against me, Allah and Jibreel and the angels and every righteous believer will go against you. What no, is the need? Why Muhammad? Right why right Allah is involving? Right listen, listen, listen. The, the one he's talking here is who? Is Allah, right? Yes. Okay. Allah saying to Muhammad, if those two mm. women don't repent, you better tell them that I will back you up. Hold on, it's not enough because Allah is weak. And Jibreel, hold on, it's not enough. And every single We're Muslim that kill them and not We're enough. Certain. Well, my friend, it, it says in the front of me, two women fighting with the Prophet. What is the need of all this army? Allah and Jibreel and every righteous Muslim and all the angels, all of them, they are going to protect the Prophet from those two females. And those two females, they are throwing tomatoes at the Prophet, not rocks. So when you say to me that Muhammad he received message from Jibreel, where is Jibreel? Did Jibreel protect him? And where is Allah? I don't have answer to that. Why Allah? Why Allah? Isn't it enough to say to me Allah is my protector? Why I need Jibreel? If Allah protect me, who need who need who need Jibreel? Who's Jibreel? Is it just an angel? Muhammad here saying, if both of you don't repent, indeed. And you back up each other. Indeed, Allah is his protector. And Jibreel and the believers and every single angel. Muhammad, he involved the whole galaxy in a fight with two wives. Who is left? Who is left is not is, is not involved in this stupid fight. A guy fighting with his two wives. They are not using swords. They are using shoes. So the wives of Muhammad throwing their shoes at Muhammad. Accusing him to be a child molester, a thief, a liar, a cheater. Why Muhammad is calling all this army to defend him? What the part? What the problem? I'm not able to answer to that question. Uh, my friend, since you call me each time we spoke about something, you see, and I'm able not to, to answer this question. Do, are you able one day to answer anything? No, not exactly what okay. you're referring to, but you always ask gotcha questions. You mm. trap me. I trap you. You know, did you ask Allah about, do you know about the trap of Allah? Have you ever heard of the trap of Allah? No. No? My friend, you just mentioned a very important word. I forgot about it because Allah in the Quran, he said he, said he trapped people. Don't you know that? Are you aware that Allah, he trapped? He trapped whom? The Christians. Let me ask you. When oh, you call me, when you when you call me, when you call me, you start talking about Jesus crucifixion. Is that correct? Is yes. that correct? Okay. Isn't it Allah who trapped us with with the belief of the crucifixion? You see, the convers conventional Muslim perspective is that he was not 
crucified mm-hmm. but now scholars like uh the major scholars admit that he was crucified mm-hmm. but he did not die ah he was that's crucified but did not die theory, but the quran didn't was. say that my friend the quran says they crucified him not i mean your scholars are a bunch of idiots who is the scholar shabir ali or zakir naik shabir ali shabir ali, ali, ali. your shabir ali is too much potato my friend he's eating too much hummus i like hummus by the way the quran my friend says they killed him not they crucified him not so what they killed him but he did not die and the potato tomato where did this guy get this from is he ahmadiyya now I believe Ahmed, uh, Shabir mm. Ali is a sneaky person. He's Ahmadiyya undercover because this is what the Ahmadiyya believe. Now, if we go in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 157, there's nowhere it says that. It says it clearly. They killed him not. They crucified him not. But it was made to appear to them, which means he was a crucified. So now, as long you are saying trap, why Allah, he trapped the Christians and made them believe that Jesus was in the cross? Because the Quran confirmed that the Quran confirmed that Nobody killed Jesus and nobody crucified Jesus, but Allah He made the Christians and the Jews and the Roman and everybody see Jesus in the cross. That is a trap. Why are uh, doing if that? the word by crucified it means that he was, uh, he, I mean, uh, if the word crucified here meant that he did die, and in actually, my friend, my friend, actually already, already the verse says they killed him not, so there's no need to repeat no crucify. And which means no, and killed him not. He already says they killed him not. Can you do you know how to read, or you are literate like your prophet? It says, but they know, killed so, him. So listen to me. They, they killed him not. Him, listen, 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 general. listen. What the Quran saying? They, but they killed him not, nor crucified him. So the Quran Even confirmed the crucifixion. He might have. He might not have died. My friend, the Quran says there is no crucifixion. Are you crazy or what? If somebody said, if by you, the word but my friend, my friend, the Quran death. confirmed two things. He said already he, he was not killed. He said, the Quran said that. Read with me. It says, but they killed him not. Stop. And the Quran continue. No crucified him. So the Quran confirmed death is not happening already. And he confirmed additional thing. Crucifixion never happened to Jesus. So now, Allah continue talking, saying, but it was made to appear to them. If we read your scholar's interpretation and your prophet stories, he speak of that Allah, he made the look of Jesus on the look of somebody else. They captured that guy and they arrested him and they crucify him. Why Allah so is according making... According to you, the swing, the swing to read does not hold water. My friend, what water? The Quran, the Quran. Don't tell me according to me. According to the newspaper no, in front of me. Basically, according, uh, yeah, but, whatever you call it. Uh, so, the, so do you? Uh, so you think that the swim swim theory does not hold water? The what? 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 Uh, I mean, it's not um, uh, appropriate considering the verses. If we uh, interpret their meanings. I don't understand you, my friend. I need to explain to yourself. I don't know what you mean. What, what, uh, the, Allah in the Quran here is saying that Allah, He made someone look like Jesus. Don't you think this is a trap? Because now we Christians believe that Jesus was in the cross because Allah, He did lie to us. Who is the one who made this so, lie happen? So basically, the Swin theory, theory is not a good explanation. The Quran is saying that, uh, so are you saying to me, Allah is, is, uh, is funny now? Are you disrespecting Allah? No, not. Okay, you are saying that because the Quran is saying that Allah, He made him appear to be in the cross. He made him appear. The Quran confirmed three things. That there's no crucifixion. There's no death for Jesus or they call him Isa. And in the top of that, there's somebody placed in the place of Jesus. Allah says, and it was made to appear. So we saw in appearance, the appearance of Jesus in the cross. In appearance, we saw his eyes, his face, his voice. In appearance, it was Jesus. But that was only appearance. So Allah here, he did lie to us. For he made us see in appearance something not true. Don't you think this is a satanic act to deceive the Christians? There's a three billion Christian now believe that Jesus was crucified because of Allah lie. It's hard for me to 
say anything in re- in regards to that. Mm, that's deep. How old are you, my friend? I'm 21. 21. I'm 19. Well, Mr. Muhammad, welcome. And you can call me anytime. I'm glad that I spoke to you. I I hope I wasn't harsh with you. But, you know, the topic is harsh. No. And Islam is a stupid religion with my respect to you. I don't mean to insult no. you. But Islam is very stupid religion. Because as you see, the one who made the Christians the Christians, according to Islam, is Allah. Why Allah did that? Don't Allah knows that now the Christians, they will believe that Jesus was on the cross? When he made someone look like Jesus? Don't Allah know in the future that he is going to have a new religion, which is false religion, according to Islam. Believe that Jesus was a crucified because of his lie? And why Allah waited mm -hmm. 600 years until Christianity is very well established to come and send us Abdul from the middle of nowhere who don't speak Hebrew, who is not of the Jews, who is not of the Christians, and suddenly he said, Oh, Jesus was not crucified. Okay, but other than that, uh, I, I, I always watch your content and I see that you reveal every sort of hadith. But do you think that the Prophet did not do anything good? Like he said, be kind for whatever, uh, for whenever kindness becomes part of something, it beautifies it. Whenever it is taken from something, it leaves it tarnished. Mm. My friend, and he said, the best friend, among you is the okay. one who doesn't harm others with his tongues and hands. So, uh, did Muhammad harm others? Also, okay, hold on. Did Muhammad harm others? You just said, can you repeat again the hadith for me? The best among you is the one who doesn't harm others with his tongues, with his tongue and hands. So how your prophet, you said, when you see a Christian, humiliate him and force him to walk in the sewage. So Muhammad is teaching you good manner with the Muslims, but you should not be nice to other people. Is that the manner in religion yes. that I can I can be a, a good person for none for for Muslims only? Imagine if Jesus says, "Okay, be nice to the Christians, but if you see a Muslim in the street, spit in his face, huh? kick his ass, uh, push him in the sewage, or push him from the top of the mountain." No, my, my problem is that uh, why don't you uh, reveal the other side of the story? He's my friend, there's no other side. There's no other side. There's no other side because this guy obviously is a hypocrite. Because if Muhammad, he also said the best among my friend. Who, so what? Who, who care what he character. said? Who care? We show we show his act. Jesus said from their fruit, you will know them. So who care for what Muhammad said? Be good. Be good to who? Muhammad, he killed his own people. How many people Muhammad killed from his own people? So when you say to me, Muhammad said, be good, but he is not good. Muhammad, did, did Muhammad say to be a cheater? Did Muhammad told you to, as, a, as a Muslim man to cheat your wife? Did he no, say that he to said, you? Feed the hung he, he also said, feed the hungry and visit a sick person and free the captive. If he be unjustly confined. So why, so why, so why, why the Quran says, kill the captives? Where does it say that? If I show you what you will do, I won't be able to answer you. What? What else? Ah, uh, here we go. I mean, I will not be able to answer you. Okay, can you do me a favor, Muhammad? Do you have a connection with Shabir Ali? No. Can you call him? No. Why not? I don't have any contacts. If I give you, if I, if we search right, right now, me and you, live on air, for his phone number, can you call him and challenge him uh, to call uh, me and debate me and to refute anything I said? I can do that. Okay, can you call him right now? <laughs> right now, where, where Skype? I don't know. You, you want to? Where you live? You live in Canada? Or USA? No, I live in India. In India? Oh, okay. Uh, maybe it's uh, expensive for you to call. Let, let us do this. I want to give you time to contact Shabir Ali in your own time. Why don't you contact him? Uh, we, you no, we, they him did. They did. They, they, he ran away and they asked him many times to debate me. He ran away. He accepted uh, no, to debate uh, me. You can also call him live on. I, I don't. I, I, if I call him, he will, he will cry. He will say he's harassing me. He might tell his mom or his dad. I don't know. <laughs> Why don't you call him right now? Uh, we did. Not by phone, the TV station. They contacted him to debate me, and he backed down. He ran away. Uh, 
Did you ever try to contact him by phone? No, no, I will not contact people by phone. I'm not going to chase people. You are a Muslim. You tell him why you don't want to debate Christian Prince. What is the problem? Why you are left alone? And you keep saying to me, Shabir Ali, the reason I'm asking you to call Shabir Ali because you keep mentioning Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali, my friend, listen, listen, listen. Quran. Instead, he. I want you to deliver. Uh, I want you to deliver a message to Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali. How can I? How knows, can I do that? knows nothing about his cult. Nothing. But he's the most uh, reputed Muslim. I never uh, saw him refuting scholar. anything. I never saw him refuting anyone. When? Shabir Ali, you ask him about tomato, he answered about potatoes. Never answer anything. Uh, yeah, and you I, know I what? And listen, he, listen, he, listen. He defeated twice David Wood. Who's David Wood anyway? David Wood, he 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 learned some English about about the, the Quran in the internet, the same as you. David Wood is not a specialist in Quran in Islam. He did not study Islam. He doesn't speak Arabic. So this is why Shabir Ali. Did you ask him why he wanted to debate Shabir Ali? Did you James ask him? White, did you ask him? Uh, who is James White? James White. Debated. He know nothing too. Listen, listen. Why he want to debate those who know not Islam, but he don't want to debate me? What's so the problem? You claim to know everything about Islam. I know Islam and more than Muhammad himself. Okay, but others also know. Like James White is quite knowledgeable. You not know anything about Islam. James White is an idiot. He's like your prophet. Oh, why do you say that? Because he believes in a newspaper. Show me one thing James but White he said. Question. Show me one thing James White he said about Islam. Is it true? Here we go. Challenge for you. Anything James White said, Shabir Ali said, right now, quote for me something is true. None. None of Shabir Ali's statement about Islam is true. And none of the statement of James White about Islam is true. For both of them, they are from the same potatoes. Hypocrite liars. No, but James White is a Christian, right? But he's not Christian. A Christian, he will not lie. This guy is a liar. Why do you say that? He, because because, because he lie. And I just challenged you. I said, show me one thing he said about Islam is true. You see how, how he sure says, I am? He says the narrations of the Hadith should be interpreted in the light of the culture. Correct. And that's what and who is the one who gets interpretation for the Hadith? The Muslim or the Christians? The Muslims, correct? The Muslims. Okay, so why James White is giving, giving false interpretation? Isn't it Muhammad? No, he said, Isn't it Muhammad? He said, I am being victorious by the terror. And there's a context to it, and it okay, give me the context for it. Times. I was victorious by the terror. Give me the tradition. Did Muhammad send letters of terror? No, I'm, I'm not talking about those. Uh, like he said, my friend, my friend, listen, don't mention to me names for those names mean nothing for me. I am not James White, I am not David Wood, I am not Shabir Ali, I am the nightmare of Allah, and you Muslims, none of you can debate me. This is the story, full stop. So, when you call me, don't tell me this guy he debated this guy. Everybody speak for his own. Bring me somebody to debate me. I will give you a week. Next Saturday, not, not a week, Saturday. Next Saturday, we will be live on air. Every Saturday, we are live on seen air. You debate any, uh, I've never seen you debating any top scholar, like uh, whom in general sense Muslim considered to be. I debated the, the, the head of the old Shia in USA. I debated just uh, two weeks ago. Who? I just debated two weeks ago, Doctor Doctor Rohi, who have a PhD from Azhar University. I debated but, the head but, of the Islamic Center but, but, of Tennessee. But, but, uh, listen, listen, no, my friend. Nobody knows my friend, them. my nobody friend. Knows them. But, uh, yeah. No, they, they are known. What do you mean nobody knows them? Who who is the scholar? Uh, who, who are they? Real scholar? Who are they? Zakir Naik, who do not know how to read the, the Prophet name correctly. Uh, you, you have not debated Yasser Qadi Hamza Malik. Who is this guy? Which are them? Okay, call Arabi. them. Okay, let us make a debate. Who is those guys? Those guys cannot say two words in Arabic. They can't even pronounce the name of your prophet correctly. Can you pronounce your far prophet name correctly yourself? Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. See, you are, you are saying it wrong. There's no Muhammad. What Muhammad? Muhammad. So you Muslims cannot even say the name of your prophet correctly. You cannot say the name of your God. And then you are telling me those are scholars. Have you ever heard of a scholar? He cannot say the name of his prophet correctly. How do you say it? How do you say it correctly? Muhammad. Muhammad. Muhammad ibn Abdullah. This is his name. Not Muhammad. What Muhammad? Who is Muhammad? And by the way, his name is not Muhammad. His name is Qatham. So don't waste your time. I'm giving you time. 
to call all the names you mentioned to me just a few weeks ago we have uh, what the, what they call them the, the the titan tv you know they called every potato in the corner speaker in england to debate me they called uh, what's his name uh, dr nabi uh, uh, adnan i think dr adnan adnan rashid adnan rashid he backed down to but they are potatoes they debate only those who do not know you muslims you pick up your victims victims i say victims why because you debate a rabbit so you will look like a lion this is the whole story a muslim he will not fight with somebody he will lose in the front so he debate who he debate someone he don't speak arabic he debate somebody maybe speak arabic but he do not know anything about islam this is the whole story so don't waste your time and my time my friend i want you next time to call me and you bring okay. me a challenge you promise me now sure. next time you will tell me there's a guy his name is potato tomato etc he challenged you christian prince and i accept from now okay i'll try to do that but uh, i am not satisfied with the first answer you gave me about like, what it feels like jesus paid for some people's sin while he did not die for others. my friend my friend you see he, i don't know how, how smart you are i told you we don't believe in that we don't believe in that you are misquoting things you are you, i just answer you i explain to you and you are telling me i don't believe i don't believe who cares if you believe or not secondly i told you that when we say jesus paid for our sin doesn't mean that he paid for our sin so we are sin free no no, Every person, uh, so, uh, so don't don't so don't fool yourself Jew and don't people. say don't don't misuse the sentence. Jesus paid for our sin does not mean that we are giving a check, and we can. I'm I'm not I'm not saying that. All I'm saying that did he die for only certain peoples, not for the he others? He died for our sin. Our sin. Do you know what our mean? Our sin. The mankind, not the Christians. Jesus, he died to save everybody, to save you, to save me, to save the Hindu, to save the Buddhas, to save the atheist, to save everybody. Okay, but uh, and, so so do you mean? Do you think that they, they all will go to heaven? No, like, no, no, them? because even the Christians, if they don't, are you there for what? I told you, Jesus so, said, so, listen, so, listen, so listen, he, listen, kid, you're listen, kid. Me. Don't he let me, home. don't let me repeat myself many times. Either you are playing dumb now or you are playing dumb. I said to you, Jesus said, not everyone say me lord lord which means god god and you muslim says where jesus says worship me not everyone says to me god god will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will which mean if you are a christian but a hypocrite man you don't go to heaven which mean if you are a christian but you are a child molester like muhammad you don't go to heaven which mean if you are a, child, a christian but you don't feed the the the, the 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 hungry the poor if you don't do the good if you don't if you if you cannot be christian then you are not a Christian. To be Christian is to be the same as the Messiah who give and give and give. If you cannot be that, you don't belong to him. If you cannot wash the feet of your followers, which means the feet of people around me, my family, my neighbors, you don't belong to me. This is why Jesus himself, he washed the feet of his apostles. During the time Jesus was washing the feet of his apostles, teaching them how to be humble, your prophet, people, they were fighting over the piss of his to drink it. Your prophet, people, they were fighting over the water. He washed his testicles with it. Your prophet, people, worship no, him. No, they didn't. As God, I, I, they didn't. I have a proof. Okay, what about you? Show Let, me the proof. Show me the proof about the urine thing that you said. If I show you what you will do. show me if i show you like what you, you will said. do what you will do what you will do so you're going to show me that people were striving for the water that he was his testicles with i will show you everything i say christian prince never say something without proof never so if i show you that your prophet and not only that a woman she drank his piss he promised her that there's no disease will happen to her because of that. What are you saying? I'm not saying this is what your prophet saying. Read with me. قام رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من الليل إلى فخارة في جنب البيت فبال فيها فقمت 
من الليل وأنا عطشانة فشربت ماء فيها وأنا لا أشعر فلما أصبح النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال يا أم أيمن قومي فأهرقي ما في تلك الفخارة قالت قد والله شربت ما فيها قال فضحك النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم حتى بدت نواجذه ثم قال أما والله إنه لا تبجعن بطنك أبدا The woman she said to him uh, your, books is, your books cover is waving on the screen Oh sorry Hold on Let us take it off uh, Is this a hadith or what? what yeah, yeah this is a hadith What's wrong now? It's a newspaper Wait, which, which, which hadith? It's a newspaper Hadith Which hadith? Okay You want, you want, you, you want the numbers? Yes Okay there's the, all the numbers There's many of them Which one? All of those which one you want? No, this one that you're reciting. Okay, this one I'm reciting. Let us start with this one. Yeah, here we go. And translate it into English. No, no. No, I do not know if I can find it for you in English, but I can give you the website. You can translate it in your own. Is that good? Uh, so, okay, but right. at least give me the hadith. Al-Mawahib, Al-Mawahib al-Dunia bil-Munih al-Muhammadiyya, volume number two. Uh, book at Tahara was Salad, variant number one, page number 469. Uh, is this a Sahih hadith? All of those, uh, why would I take it my seriously? Friend, my friend, nothing, not, not nothing in Islam is Sahih, my friend. Nothing in Islam is Sahih. Let us not to fool ourselves. What's Sahih in Islam? There's nothing is Sahih, but you sahih are asking me, authentic, right? my friend, so this might you, be you, a... you are asking me, this is Al Mustadrak for Sahih. Yes, this is here Sahih. All right, this is Al Mustadrak for Sahih. This is the name of the book. Variant number four, page number, uh, page number one five five, and the height in the front of you, it's highlighted. Do you see it? And your prophet promising the women, promising the women that she will never have pain in her stomach after she drank his piss. Be honest with me, Muhammad. If the prophet give him give 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 you know gave you his piss, you will drink it, don't you? No, I won't. Why? I can't do that. It's gross. Okay, what about drinking camel urine? Mm -hmm. uh, there's benefit in that. But, uh, uh, there's a benefit. Okay, why you Muslims go to hospital? Why you don't go and drink camel urine? If there's Not a benefit. Every did, did, your with that. did your mom, did your mom, your dad, your family drink camel urine every morning instead of milk or tea? No. Okay, your prophet never drink tea. So why you are not drinking camel urine like the prophet? Uh, no, it was in regards to a certain disease. No, my friend. Man, no, my friend. Your prophet, anyone convert to Islam, all the Muslims, they have to drink camel urine and to drink milk. <laughs> uh, no, are you referring to that as, as a celebration? What celebration? You Muslims celebrate drinking urine. So, like in those those infidels, they drink wine in the new You're year. You're saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying. I'm not saying, saying celebration. That. I'm saying every Muslim have to drink camel urine. The Prophet. This is a Sunnah. You know what Sunnah, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but, okay. Uh, let let me let me that? ask you. You know, each time we have a Muslim to, to be, because Muslims keep saying to us that Islam. To, uh, as long as we are talking about urine, and you say this is gross and disgusting, do you think it's right to to swim with water full of urine? Or piss, or dead dogs, or women of blood from period. No, but uh, no, I, I know, I know what hadith are you going to show? But Jesus also said that uh, everything that you eat, I think in Matthew fifteen verse nine, uh -huh. according to that, you can eat anything, and it is, uh, it will not defile you. Something this, like this, that. This is not. This is not about what. This is what, what Jesus said, my friend. It says it's not what go in no, your mouth. Uh, listen, said, listen, I, listen, I, listen. I, listen I, 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 uh, you see, thing. a second ago we said if we want to understand something, we understand it as the people who believe in it, right? Okay, Christians don't yes. agree, don't understand it the way you understand it. Don't be funny. Jesus, he meant, don't be hypocrite. It's not what go in your mouth make you dirty. If you do dirty, speak dirty, you are dirty. And this is very logical. Because a person who sleep under the bridge, and he did not take a shower for a year, but he never hurt anyone, is better than somebody. He sleep nice, he dress nice, he take a shower every day, but he's hurting people. But here we notice. So you mean it's, metaf it's me metaphorical? Yes. Here, Muhammad is doing it literally, taking shower with dead dogs, and he is not taking shower. Actually, he's doing ablution. 
which means he is preparing himself to the stage of holiness to be meeting Allah. So how you prepare yourself to meet Allah, pray to Allah, by washing yourself by water, having dead dogs and women of blood from period, and garbage and stinking garbage. How you explain to us? Jesus said that uh, if you're a true Christian and you uh, then poison can't harm you. So, uh, no, my can, friend, can you no, drink that? No, my friend, this is not what Jesus said. What the Bible says that that the Bible, Mark. my friend, my friend, dear friend, you see, you understand it as we understand it, not as you want. The same as we do in Islam. If I show you a verse in the Quran, ask me to show you the interpretation of your scholars and whatever the scholars they say, we go with it. I don't give interpretation of my own. So you should do the oh, same. Okay, so how do you respond to that? So very simple, uh, like very simple. You see, the Christians, the Christian you. believe, my friend, that even Jesus, he was killed, correct? Yes. Okay, so that means we are not immune against death. So what death Jesus is talking about? The death we are talking about, that they can kill our body, but they cannot kill our spirit. Poison, hate, evil, all of this will not affect us, for we are promised to be with our Lord for eternity. Otherwise, why Paul was killed, why all the apostles were killed, all of them with no exception. So all those Christians were killed in the time of Jesus. They were uh, discriminated. They chased them. And after that, they feed them to animals. So obviously, none of the Christians understand it the way you are trying to understand. However, as long as you mention this, isn't it your prophet who said that the one who eats seven ajwa, no poison can kill him? Yes, he said. Okay. He said that, but in similar way, I can say that uh, in I can say that it was in a metaphorical sense. No, no, Just no. Like because this is ajwa. What is the metaphorical of ajwa? What is the metaphorical? He's talking about eating ajwa. You want to make ajwa now metaphorical? Ajwa is a fruit. Whoever eats seven ajwa, no poison and no magic can kill him. Now this is metaphorical. Eating ajwa is a metaphorical. Uh, it might refer to a certain poison that uh, that it could immune. What uh, what certain where where it says it says no poison. It doesn't say certain poison. And here we go. Your prophet he died because of poison, and he was infected by magic, which means both of them happened to him. No, but he died th three years later. It doesn't matter. Are you are you accusing your prophet to be stupid when he said that he's dying because of poison? Are you accusing him to be idiot? Uh, why would I? Why would I conclude? Because that? you are saying he died. He did not die by poison because he died three years after eating the poison. Correct? Yes. Okay. But if Muhammad says I die because of poison, so are you saying that he's being stupid? He forgot that he did eat this poison. Uh, he, he did not die. I think it was a word. My friend, he is saying that. Are you? Do you know more than your prophet? Read with me. The prophet said in his element of death, he used to say, "Oh Aisha." I feel the poison I ate in Khaybar. At this time, I feel as if my orta is being cut off. So you're a prophet claiming, not me, not you. He is claiming that this poison is cutting his artery. As simple as that. So are you are you claiming that you know what happened to your prophet and your prophet was an idiot? He is assuming that he died because of poison, but that does not make sense because he ate the poison three years ago. This is what you are saying. No, you are saying, yeah, you are saying your prophet is not smart. He did not think about it correctly. It must be not some. It's not the poison. This is what you say. Did you say a second ago it is not the poison because he ate it three years before he died? Aren't you the one who said that? So, uh, eh, eh, is this uh, date close? Uh, dated close to his death? Like, yeah, the, the, this is the thing. Uh, the same week he died. Muhammad is dying now. It says there in the element of his death, which he died. Do you read it? Mm. Hmm. So are you saying you are out in out smart in your prophet that he is not smart but you are smart, mm. or you heard this from uh, Shabir Ali too? No, but he has responded to it. Who is the one who gave you this answer? This funny answer that uh, it cannot be because he ate the poison mm. three years ago. Who is the one who? Give me the name. Uh, I've heard Shabir Ali saying that. Shabir Ali again. Here we go. Another. another see how see how stupid he is. He's insulting your prophet. He just said that he's a prophet he is a stupid. He's losing his mind. But you see, when you listen to him speaking, 
Uh -huh. You can't argue with that. Ah, now bring him to me. Let us see if I can argue or not. You cannot argue yourself because you are, you know, you are just a, a follower, like a sheep. Meh. But nobody want to discuss with the goat. He's a goat. And you are a sheep. And none of you is trying to go and is, is question each other, like, what are you talking about? So if he did eat the poison three years ago, and there is no way he died because of it, that means he is accusing the prophet to be stupid. And to be a false prophet, because supposedly the prophet, the Quran says, "Wama huwa illa wahyun yuha." The prophet he speak nothing of his own, which means nothing he speak, but is the truth. Mm. But Shabir Ali, he just said, proves his prophethood, prophethood too, because uh, uh, Allah said <laughs> that if 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 he speaks in the name of um, if he speaks. Of uh, in the name of other gods, he will cut off his aorta, and if he dies the same way as Allah said, hmm. then does that mean the then the, does that make Allah a true God? Listen, aren't you the one who said to me that Shabir Ali told you if a hadith contradicts the Quran, we reject it? Uh, yes, but uh, no, hold, how, hold on, how do you hold, hold on, to hold, that? on hold on, like, uh, hold, hold, listen, on hold on, 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 hold on. You just told me. That the Quran said, if Muhammad is a liar, Allah will cut his aorta, correct? Yes. Okay. And he, if he and the hadith, the same way, then and, do you and the hadith, Allah is the true God? my friend, and the hadith now not contradicting the Quran is confirming the Quran. Yes. So, uh, so it, it just in case, uh, just for a second, if I say that, uh, uh, like, uh, Muhammad lied, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam lied, just just in case I say that, hmm. and uh, since Allah told us. Um, uh, Prior to his death, that if he does so, he will kill him the same way. And if mm. he dies the same way, then do you conclude that Allah is the true God? No, uh, because simply why? I will tell you. I will tell you why. No, I, will, I, will, I will tell you why. I will tell you why. Uh, uh, what his name? Uh, Didat. In, in once he said, Ahmad, Di Ahmad yeah, Didat. Didat. He said, if I am lying, may God mute me. He did not say Allah. May may God mute me. And God muted him for seven years or five years. I don't know. He cannot talk. So Muhammad here, he made, it, listen, but, listen, but it's listen, in the Quran. listen, listen, Muhammad here, he did make a lie. He said, if I am lying, God will cut my aorta. And God, the true oh, God, not Allah. Allah. Listen, not, listen, 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 listen. God, the true God, punish Muhammad for his lies. Otherwise, you tell me, you explain to me how Muhammad, he say, and he says such a statement. If I am lying, God will cut my aorta. And then this is the way exactly how that uh, you you you're confusing two things. Allah said so, not Muhammad. My friend, no, Muhammad said that because he, he thought never will happen will never happen this way. If Muhammad he knew he will die in such how, a how way. How do you prove that? How do you prove that he said that? I mean, we 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 believe that the Quran is the word of Allah. My friend, so my friend, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, if if Allah is the one is saying that, and then he killed Muhammad by poison, don't you see? There's there's somebody stupid there. That means Allah is confirming that Muhammad is a liar. So it cannot be Allah who's saying yes. that. So, uh, it is Muhammad, my friend. Uh, yeah, uh, it just, is just obviously, 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 because if Allah is the one saying that, so when, when, he should not the allow. Listen, Allah, listen. Either the prophet if Allah, if Allah is the one speaking in the Quran, saying if Muhammad lie, we will cut his order. Allah should not let Muhammad die in such a way, because that will confirm that he is a liar, as you said. So this is additional proof so one of them that has to it be cannot the be or the God. Huh? And since he died the same way, then it's the God who is true. No, it's, it's, uh, but, but you just told me that Muhammad is a false prophet in the same time. Okay. Okay, so, thank uh, you very so much. It, so it's like a paradox. My friend, like paradox. guys, did you hear this? Did you hear this? This guy, he just admitted that Muhammad is a false prophet, but Allah is a true God. No, I'm... Uh... <laughs> Take care, my friend. Did your parents call me? Thank you for calling. So guys... Uh, this this uh, this uh, this Muhammad is a nice guy. I feel sorry for him, but look what he said. That this is confirmed that Allah is a true prophet and Muhammad is a false god. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I am here to prove to you that Muhammad is a false prophet, and if Muhammad told you everything about Allah, everything you know about Allah is from Muhammad. That means Allah, the one you've been taught about. By Muhammad is a false Allah. Correct, guys. As long he admitted that Muhammad is a false prophet, I do not need to prove the rest. Because everything you know about Allah 
is coming from Muhammad so if Muhammad is a liar lying about his prophet and this is why he was killed in such a way that's I mean everything you learn about your God is a false news and this is why I call your Quran the newspaper thank you Muhammad for calling me he's a nice guy I hope he will call Shabir Ali the potato who don't dare to debate me I call him potato loud and clear this is not a sign of disrespect no but this is who he is they claim to be scholars but they cannot maintain five minutes Shabir Ali if he debate me for five minutes he will be knocked in less than three minutes he will be out of the stage he will go and do his PhD all over you know, ABN, when they asked him to debate me, he said yes. Then he searched me in the internet and he found that he is no match. So he said, oh, I'm busy doing my PhD. And since then, he's busy. Search his name. He have a program. He have a program show. There is a, there's, a, there's a phone number in the screen, my friend. Call him. Let me, let, let me tell you this. Can you call the D show? Shabir Ali, the D show, Nu'man Khan, all those kids. Who is making business money can you call them I never say to anyone no here you go my Skype is open I do not know who's going to call me next is that correct guys I don't care anyone can call me I don't have a filtering machines I don't have a reception to take this call and refuse this call people they will you will call me right now everybody will hear that the Skype ringing and I will answer the phone how simple we can do it more than this. I call the Dean show first, second, third, and they refused to let me go through. Cowards. We challenged Zakir Naik to debate me. He said to bring 2,000 people to, to, to Bangladesh. I will pay for 2,000. Hardly I can pay for my trip next month. I have a trip next month. I'm going by myself. Hardly I can afford to stay in a hotel. I'm not a rich man to pay for 2,000 people. And as you see, the Christian don't donate much, you know. If I'm a Muslim, they will donate. If my name is Muhammad Khan, they will buy me a TV station. Or they will get me a 12, 12 satellite. But I'm not Muhammad Khan, I'm not a Muslim. If I'm a Muslim, I will get a lot of donation. So the Muslims always define the excuses, so they will not debate us. How in the world a Christian prince will bring with him 2,000 Christians to, to, to join a debate? And why you want to debate me with 2,000 Christians? Are you going to debate me or the 2,000 Christians? Honestly, like, you know, uh, like we have little support. And those guys, they have TV stations, they have all the glory, the Muslims, they donate for them, they fly them overseas, they invite them to, uh, uh, etc. Like Nu'man Khan, you know, every every few weeks he have a new conference, and like he's a big shot. This guy, I will make him shish kebab in less than, not even, not even 60 seconds. Before he say, Assalamu Alaikum, I will get him busted. All the Islamic scholars are a show. They are not real. Zakir Naik, he said the word Hur, brother Thither. The Thither the, the did not kick with him. How come in Islam, the Muslim man will have Hur, but the Muslim woman, she will not have Hur. First of all, the word Hur is the plural name, and it's for male and female. Look, what the heck? The word Hur is for male and female. The Quran says nobody touched their vagina and they will not bleed because of sex. You made the male? Unbelievable. This is your scholars. We do not need to enable super chart. The, the, chat, the, the people who want to help us, we have better you and they can go and help. I said that next month I am going to trip. You believe it or not, people, they, they start canceling donation. I don't know how the Christians work. You say to them, I'm going to to, to, to a trip next month, which means we need more of your help. What they do, they stop donation. <laughs> you believe it? <laughs> Unbelievable. 
so beautiful so beautiful anyway my friend Islam is a very stupid cult and I can prove it in any I just just speak to me say anything you, you know anything you say to me Muslims is going to be used against you I do not need to prepare for myself for a debate let Shabir Ali call me and he choose he, he start the topic say anything you talk the same as what happened to you and I was speaking to you in a very friendly way because I know you are not too much educated I pray that this gentleman who called us first of all I want to thank him for being polite and being nice he is not true the same as the rest of the Muslims I respect that of him and I think he is coming from a good family you know you can this is how you tell if somebody is coming from good parents or not I'm telling you I assure you that this this person who called me he have a good parents he have good mother and good father you know uh, he did not do what other Muslims do so he's from a good family and he can call me anytime he's welcome but I want him to contact his scholars and the reason I want the scholars he like them to call because I want to show him how they are nothing but they are fooling people they are doing business it's about money call your scholars tell them what you will lose if you call a Christian Prince for 30 minutes what Shabir Ali will lose what he's afraid of if he can answer and his answers will be convincing is that correct guys what he will lose but he knew exactly what will happen his career will be loose it is the end of his career the head of the Islamic Center in in Michigan after he debated me and this is was by the way this guy he was the 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 what uh, the consultant of George Bush look at George Bush the idiot who hired who he hired this guy Hisham al Husseini to be his consultant in the war in Iraq you believe it you believe it how stupid this USA country a guy who who teach taqiyya in the mosque is the consultant of the president so he was a consultant and he was in a strike against Israel sponsoring Hezbollah. He have an interview with Fox News four or five times, and Sean Hannity he could not co like corner him, saying that I support Hezbollah. In my debate with him, I made him say more. He said in his debate with me that soon, inshallah, we will kill all the Christians like you and all the Jews like you, who they are the enemy of Allah. Soon, inshallah, will cleanse the land from people like you. And by the way, nobody took this debate to Fox News so they can play it. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys you did have a good time with us. Don't forget to subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. And if you are already subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe. For it is the game of subscribe and unsubscribe. For me, I don't really care who subscribe or not. But if you like to join us and to be with us, to learn, there is no way you will attend our broadcast and you will leave the same as you came. This is a free education school. Here we share knowledge, we don't waste time. It's a free school. And what you learn here, you will never learn anywhere. And we don't sugarcoat anything. We say things as it is. Who like it, like it. Who don't like it, I don't care. Same as my books. If you have my books, you will see the same way I talk here. It's the same way in my books. The difference is, my books is more loaded with reference, for it is a book. And for those who got my last uh, last book, uh, which is uh, Sex and Allah, until now we have a few review. But I know, like, uh, 
a lot of people bought the book already uh, actually in some countries in Amazon it's number one in mythology uh, but I don't know why only few people did make a review of the book so I encourage you if you got my book and you did read it make a, 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 a review and uh, you know be make an honest review don't say it's fantastic if it's not Say I don't like it. Say I like it. Say whatever you want, but make a review, so people will learn what what you learn from that from from this book. Uh, right now, I'm working in my edition, like the new book I'm working in, which is going to be about the apostle of Jesus and Islam, and I hope people will enjoy it and will learn a lot from it. Uh, you know, writing books. It's let us say it's a good thing because that will preserve your work for maybe centuries to go. And these days, because of videos, things is even better. But remember, Muslims always they fight my videos, they try to take it down. So I advise you all to download my videos, save them in Gmail account, uh, G Drive, uh, you know, save them. Because if they can, they will take every single video of mine out of the net. This cult is very aggressive, satanic cult. And they will not hesitate to use all their means to stop me, stop me from exposing Islam. And for me, I want to be sure that one day when I die, the knowledge will not die with me. So people, youth, young ones, they still have the knowledge and this is why I believe writing more books is very very important I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you all and don't forget to pray for this fellow who called us Muhammad to open his eyes and see the truth and I pray for him life on air that may the Lord open your eyes and show you what kind of a quality you are missing Muhammad is a person he was busy speaking of doing good, but he never did good. He was a criminal, a killer, child molester. While Jesus was healing the blind, Muhammad was raping Aisha. While Jesus was making the, 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 the dead man walk, Muhammad was flirting with his own son wife. While Jesus was feeding thousands of people, Muhammad was stealing the food of people. While Jesus said, give your dress, the one who asked you for your coat, give him his address, and he did that. Muhammad was accused by the Muslims that he stole a red underwear. That is my Jesus, and this is, is your Muhammad. And remember at the end of the day that you Muslims believe that Jesus is alive and Muhammad is dead. So the criminal is dead and the living God is a living God. And this is who is my Lord. I follow the living Jesus, the Christ, the Word of God, the Holy. His name is a glorious. And you follow a dead man. He was a child molester. Thank you for listening. And Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we see you soon again. Bye-bye.